My role as Professor of Dementia Studies here at Leeds Beckett involves conducting research around dementia care um, with a particular interest in looking at how we take that research out into practice then um, and embed it in everyday life for people with dementia and service provision. So I'm particularly interested in formal care services, so care homes, hospitals, and how we can give staff the right knowledge and skills and approaches to be able to care effectively for people with dementia. So largely through training, but also through other interventions that we can help staff to implement. My inaugural lecture is going to look at dementia's coming of age. Um, and this is how I'm framing the massive changes that we've seen in the position of dementia in today's society. If we look back 20 years, there wasn't much research going on. Um, there weren't very p positive perceptions of people with dementia and things have changed hugely. I, I think it's a government priority we only have to open a newspaper every day or television news and other programmes and there's a story about dementia. So it's out there, people know much more about it. It's not the kind of hidden topic that it was before. There's also been a lot of government drivers for improving quality of care, both in the UK and internationally. So there's also this really strong perception that we need to make things better and that poor quality care is just not good enough. 20 years ago, people with dementia were larger, hidden from society. It wasn't talked about often away in, in institu institutions, long-term settings, hospitals. Um, but over that time, people with dementia have gained a voice. And I think the combination of research, academics, promoting person-centred care with practitioners and people with dementia saying, look, we can be valuable members of society too. And kind of coming together to have a voice has meant that I, you know, we've never been in a better position in terms of how people with dementia are viewed in society. There's still stigma for people out there, but actually people have got a voice, they're out campaigning for change and having a, a clear say in where dementia services and research go for the future, which, you know, can only be a good thing. In terms of the future for dementia research, I think hopefully we can keep this trajectory going, that the amount of dementia research that we actually do in this country can grow, particularly um, not only the, the biomedical and the, the cure elements of it, but also that we can grow some of the care and treatment research so that we can help people with dementia now um, rather than necessarily the people with dementia of the future. It's going to be a challenge because we've got an ageing population so there will be more people with dementia and care services are going to be more and more stretched financially so I think we're going to have to be doing research around ways of working better, working smarter, working more cost effectively but also making sure that people still get the best quality care.